And that breaking news, one person is dead tonight and another hurt after bad weather caused two planes to flip over at Orlando Executive Airport. One of those planes was carrying those two people when a violent storm struck. West Houston tonight, Gabriel Gettigas is live near the airport with the story. Tonight. We're learning one of the planes that flipped was parked and it had no one inside. Airport officials say the other plane that had the two people on board was waiting for takeoff until the weather cleared up. But the gusty winds were just too powerful. There was evidence that planes that were parked did get moved around by the wind. Thursday's weather was that dangerous. The strong winds caused two planes at Orlando Executive Airport to flip upside down. Orlando Fire and police responded at around five. The director and air traffic controller, Judith Ann Jarrett, says one of the planes was empty and parked on the ramp. The second aircraft had taxied out and it was going to be departing on our main runway, runway seven. Two people were on board. One of them died. The other person was injured and sent to the hospital. Jarrett says the plane was waiting for the weather to clear up before it was able to take off. Crews also found some damaged hangars and debris everywhere. We get regular weather reports. We all do and we work closely with the air traffic control tower. So if things get very severe, they'll hold. In fact, the aircraft that had taxied out for departure was waiting. And it, unfortunately, that system moved in so fast and was so severe with very heavy gusting winds that it actually flipped the airplane. When crews got here, they shut down the airport for about 30 minutes to make sure things were safe. The NTSB and the Greater Orlando Aviation Authority are investigating. We're live in Orlando, Seneca Brigadigas, Washington News.